Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video of mine. Um, it's another one of those different videos that I don't normally do, but I figured I might as well do it, um, just because it's like a fun idea. But in this video, I'm going to be reviewing, um, two digital pianos that are portable. I'll be reviewing, like, sound, and then just the portableness of it, I guess you could say. Oh gosh, you can see them. And I'll just be reviewing different things about them. And I'll keep score up um, probably right here somewhere about what they are. Also, like, a price comparison. So, I will be showing you guys the pianos. Kind of reviewing them a little bit. Playing things on them a little bit. Um, just, like, I know which one's going to win. It's going to be the more expensive one. The other one still has its benefits that the other one doesn't have that I like more about it. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, here they are right here. Can you guys tell which one's the more expensive one? Yeah, so this is the, this one was only $200. That one was uh, $900. Um, not for the piano itself. Like I got a lot of stuff in here that came with. But I will be reviewing them. So this one right here is the Roland FP30X. I will be reviewing that. And this one right here is I don't know what it's called. Let me real quick look it up. So I figured it out. It is called the Magicon BX2. So yeah, that's what that is. And I will start probably with the like weight. This one is a little heavy, but can, I can carry it at least, All right? And it's not even that big, you see that? So, it's not much compared to this thing right here, which, hanging around the other handle. This one is very heavy. Because it's got, I think it's like 40 something pounds, which isn't that bad until you're carrying it everywhere you go, so. First one, it's gonna be this one. First off, it looks really nice in the case. Um, it's got handle, and then it's also got this strap that you can wrap around your shoulder. Um, like, wait, hang on. Uh, like this, yes, there it is. There we go. Just carry it on your back if you don't want to hold it by the handle or anything. So, put this guy out and view everything about it. Okay, here it is. This is the Magicon BX2 Folding Piano. It is full 88 keys, which is a good thing. Um pretty lightweight as you can see i will be using a pedal i'll be using this nifter something i don't know what it's called but this is the pedal i'll be using for both of them this one actually came with the roland fp30x so and this one came with the cheap plastic one so one point already goes to the roland because it came with a heavy duty one and also a metal one that looks like a real grand piano so that's two pedals so that's that's one point for the rolling it won't fit i'm gonna have to use this one okay so one thing i'm not a big fan of is like the things that you use to like plug in are like very like almost in the middle and I don't really like that, um, so, that's one downside, but it still works, so, I can't really complain about it much. Okay, now, one thing about this that I really like, is it doesn't require, like, a cord to power on. It's rechargeable. I really like that about that, because, let's say I want to go perform somewhere, like, in the streets or something, I'll be able to use this without having to worry about an outlet or anything, you know? So, the Roland requires a cord, so that's one point for this. 
One thing about this, guys, is they are not weighted. It's not a good thing about this. Um, I can't stand playing non-weighted keys. It's hard. Because with weight, you have a reason to press hard to make some notes stand out than others. While this one, it's very easy to press down. So it's like hard to play songs, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna play for Elise. Okay, so sound quality is okay. It's not the worst. Um, but also they're, the keys are plastic. So they feel very cheap and lightweight. And the keys ones at the same time they are. So it's very, pretty hard to play um, with that. And... It is pressure sensitive, which I really like about that, but they both are, so. And it's got a metronome right here. Demo songs, I'm not gonna play any of those. You have different piano sounds. Oh gosh, you can't even see that. There you go. And you got volume. You can turn it all the way up. So it's got um, speakers um, right back there and on that side as well. Yep, right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one up. Okay guys, that was my review on the Hagicon BX2. Hopefully they make better ones because if they can make this sound a lot better with way keys, I'd actually buy one, just because of how portable it is. So let's move on to the Roland FP30X. Right here. Let's go. Uh, nope, I'm actually not going to. I have to take the piano out. I forgot. Okay. It is out and ready to be played. So, real quick. This thing doesn't fold. It has to stay like this. Which is one down thing about it. I wish it was a little more portable compared to like the other one. Let's set this up. Okay, I will be using this for the pedal, so. Pedal is in. So here's the power supply and it's a little long. I wish it could be longer though, but it does the job, so. Turn it on. As you can see from here, they are weighted keys. See them bouncing up. Uh, full 88 keys. So that's a point to the Roland for having the weighted keys. It's also Bluetooth. I don't use it. Let's just go ahead and test it out. Um, playing some songs. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna play Life of Trump, uh, number three by Blitz. <laughs>
Okay, that is the sound of the Roland MP thirty X on just its regular concert piano uh setting. I'm not gonna go through any of the sounds, uh although I really like uh this one right here. So that one's sounding really nice, but I think I'm just going to stick with the original concert piano sound that it has. On the other piano, the bass was like out of tune. It was like, it, it didn't sound good, but this one... Sounds really nice. And that really hurt. Okay, so this one also has a recording button for you if you want to record and play it back to hear how you sound. It's got regular pianos, electric piano sounds, other sounds such as like, um, stuff like that. You can split it. So right here, it splits and from here, down sounds like that and then from here, it just sounds like that, which is pretty cool. You have volume, and the one thing I don't like about the volume is you don't have like a number you can see, like one through a hundred or something. It's just, there's so many in each level. You can hold it, it'll go, it'll mute it. You can hold it to go up. That's full volume. I'm gonna turn that down. So yeah, that is the Roland FP30X which is another portable piano. I will be using this one for my, uh, for like traveling places. Like if I want to play at my church or something like that, which they typically have pianos there. But if we're doing something else like different, I can bring this one. I'm not bringing the one up there because no, um, it's not the best. This one, if you get the piano itself, is around $800 to $750. But this one costed me $900 uh, just because it came with the piano. It came with that case. That sustain panel. Um, it came with two more sustain panels. Um, it came with headphones, which is in there somewhere. And then I have a stand and a stool still coming. Hopefully they deliver soon. And yeah, so that is my review that um, I just wanted to make a video of. The Roland, I think, wins just because it sounds better, it has weighted keys. Um, the other one has non weighted keys, and but it's foldable, so like they both have their ups and downs. Yeah, that is the review, and I will see you guys in another video.